Hey buddy, it's John with Planet Tech, and today we're going to be looking at a smartwatch. Now, this is in the $20 range, so it's nothing special. However, um, if you guys remember on the channel, I really like the uh, SW08, and then they came out with an SW081, which improved the SW08 original. This is like the SW08 original brother, or, or well, the original concept, or, or whatever. Um, but it's twenty dollars. Now remember the SW uh, original and then the O one, the revision around the uh, fifty dollar mark. Well, you can get at some sellers you can get around forty dollars, forty five, up to the SW O eight dash one. The revision goes for um, between fifty to eighty dollars. Again, in the fifty dollar mark, if you find them, they're around the good price, forty to fifty dollars. This is the $20 Little Brother, or the original concept. Uh, this was sent to me as a review uh, unit, and I finished the Amazon review, and I was like, hey guys, you know, if you liked it, um, inexpensive watches, uh, you might like this. Uh, I would suggest, however, get a better screen protector. The one on here is decent, however, it already has some scratches, as you guys can see, so I would get something that is more like um, like hardened plastic. Some are really good at resistant, uh, resisting scratches or one of those glass um, little screen protectors. And that's actually what I'm going to do because I actually really like this. Uh, not as good as the SW08. However, it does hold a battery uh, a lot longer. You cannot replace the back, however. That's really sad. You can use it as a phone device. And I, I have actually done that. Uh, and I'm actually going to turn this on right now. It's not really a full in-depth review. I just wanted to show you guys it. Um, now you do have little capacitive, capacitive little touch buttons. So we have back. Uh, I think that's just like sh uh, show the next screen or say yes to something. Uh, oh no, that's not. This is the yes, say yes to everything. And then we have you scan that uh, QR code for the phone app. Uh, you have four different faces for this, so you have this, and then you have some analog watch stuff, and then you have another version of this face. I stuck to this because it works. Um, you have, you know, your basic apps. Um... So yeah, it follows the same line as the SW08, but in just a more generic color scheme and style. However, as you can see right there, some of the previous $20 watches that I had reviewed had issues tracking a finger. This one? I mean, it's not precise, like, you know, higher-end watches that I've... Uh, well, not higher-end watches, but, you know, other watches that I reviewed for more money. But this is actually not that bad. Um, so, battery life using Bluetooth, about two to three days. It's actually not that bad. Without Bluetooth, I've actually had this on without me using it for about... I'm, I'm going to say this is going on the fifth day. And the battery life, yeah, I don't know if you guys can see it just just there so I'm literally waiting till it totally dies out on me to see how far you can go so the fifth day today I'm gonna see how it is on the seventh day I say hey you know, you know you guys could go seven days um, with this watch uh, so what do you get inside of it again the user manual usually comes in a foreign language um, but it also comes in English in case you guys uh, want to see English. Also, you can replace the straps using a little fork device. And I actually, I don't intend to actually doing it, but I really like that option. Um, and again, on button, we have the USB uh, charger. We have a little speaker. Oh, I love the option. And the settings, you can set this to be... Uh, so, okay, in profiles, sound settings, in profiles, right there, 
you can set this to be silent. Now, the SW08 watches are really, really nice. However, when you turn them on and off, they have a really annoying intro and exit song or tune, and I hate that. You know, if there was a silent mode, or if, or if it just vibrated or something like that, or we could choose the volume on that intro and exit song, that actually wouldn't be a bad idea. We set silent, so let's just do general. And you can double tap it or you can hit yes, activate, yes. General mode activated. And I, I exit, and there's that. It's not a bad tune, I just prefer things not to have a tune. It sounds familiar though. YouTube will probably, uh, you know, say, you know, you're doing something or whatever. Uh, you know, it's like, hey, you've got a, a song, we have to slap you for it. Okay, so now I'm going to turn it off and then back on. And you see, there's no, no sound. So you don't have to worry about it making a weird sound. Um, though you can set it to have sound. If you get like a call or whatever, it will just have this little beeping noise or whatever. Um, so you can't put an SD card or something in it. Remember, it's twenty dollars. Yes, I know a review to watch for about the same price that could have an SD card in it, but I actually prefer this one over it. Um, you do have some like anti-loss, power save mode, stopwatch, a phone book, um, a pedometer. I'm probably probably mispronouncing that. A dialer. Uh, so we can dial a phone as long as it's blue. If it's Bluetooth connected to your phone, you're good. Uh, messaging, you can uh, receive messages. Notifier, uh, Bluetooth notifier. That's one thing that you knew, need. And I need to find a specific app for the iPhone, but I don't have one. Uh, Bluetooth music, again, through your phone. Alarm, capture. Capture's not that good. Again, that's why I prefer the capture on an SW08 or 08-1. Uh, it allows you to see what your camera's seeing through its camera. However, uh, the apps, the, that app is specifically nothing too interesting to me. I don't really find it useful at all. So this was just a quick look at a little smartwatch that I thought um, and actually found out was using a dumbed down or more simplified uh, operating system from the SW08 a watch that I really liked for its price range and I actually really like this one for its price range and the features that it gives you so you might want to give this to a kid who wants a smartwatch um, but you don't want to go above the price of a normal watch which is around eight dollars for a little kitty's watch to twenty dollars for a more teenager watch but if you want a smartwatch and you don't want to shell out the cash or you just want a decent smartwatch without all the special abilities or whatever, this is actually not that bad. Uh, it's not awesome, but it gets the job done. Battery length is actually really good, and it doesn't look all, you know, it looks like a normal uh, type of digital watch without looking all weird or too fancy or whatever. So this is John with Planet Tech. Hopefully you enjoyed this review. Put your comments down below, and I'll try to get to them. Uh, this is John, and I'm signing out. Bye.